house. Yeah. Morning. Two magazines if you want them. Nothing. Awesome. Thank you. Good. Double thumbs up. Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, today you can see I'm just in the garage, sitting here at the Christmas wrapping station. Mic check. One, two. I'm just sitting here getting prepared for kind of the festivities and all that, and realize that we're going to take probably my edge to go to Christmas and stuff like that. And I desperately need to clean that thing out if the family is going to ride in there. I haven't really touched the interior yet since I picked it up. And to be honest, it's kind of gross. So let's jump out to that thing and start attacking that mess. I'm going to start by pulling all the floor mats and kind of everything out of here. Also get all the trash out, just probably grab a bag and throw that all out. I'm going to bring the vacuum over, see how far we can get with that thing. Wish me luck. Ah. Quarter. I guess I'm making my investment back on the car. Well, that's really worth it. Are you guys ready for this? Uh, ew. Yummy. Not too bad, honestly. Not even a full bag. Hey, I can live with that. I've done far worse than this. Got a long way to go with the vacuuming, obviously. A lot of pet hair in here. Stuff like that. But hey, as a bonus, check this out. I'm on my way to recouping all my uh, expenditures on this thing so far. Plus, a brand new utility knife. Nice. Oh, and I broke it. What the heck? You know, I don't know what this video is actually going to be. If it's, you know, a full-on detail, which it's not. If it's... Uh, one of those satisfying videos of beginning to end kind of thing. I don't think it's really that either. It's kind of just me cleaning my car and filming it. And maybe it's something mildly entertaining. Anyway, time to vacuum. <laughs> This is a dumb pen. Yeah, I agree. Now that the vacuuming's mostly done, and uh, the mail got dropped off. Sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the interior. It's nothing too bad, just, you know, dirt and crap. Just some regular old armor all. Nothing special. Like I said, this isn't some kind of full detailing channel where I go nuts with it. Uh, you're not going to see me in here with a toothbrush and getting all the little cracks and crevices. I know that's, uh, you know, satisfying, I guess. Uh, I just gotta drive this car, so I don't really care if it's that spotlessly clean. Guess let's see how this goes. Yeah.
Well, six months later, yeah, I got the majority of the dog hair out. So I guess that's a win. It's pretty good. I'm going to leave it unless I get some brush or something to dig the rest of this out. I'd be here all week trying to get that all cleaned up. So time to start scrubbing back here. Yeah. Now, as far as the seats go, I might use this uh, Blue Magic leather cream conditioner. I know, leather, but it works well on vinyl and everything else. And I've had really good luck with this stuff over the years. It seems to do a really good job of just softening it up and uh, keeping it nice. So these things are, I don't know the last time these seats have ever been sat in. So they're pretty stiff. But I'm just going to give a good coat of it. This stuff you can almost watch soak in. It starts out really shiny and then just mats out a little bit over time as it kind of soaks into this leather. It does a really good job. So, these things all scrub down. Dang, this thing's looking good. We got the back seat done. We got the back cargo area done. And they are looking nice. It's time to move up front. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm going to wash these little trays up and stuff. Get all the gunk out of these things. At this point, the girls thought it would be nice to clean Hi. mom's car. It needed it too. that is try and get all this cleaned up yeah I've already sprayed it down before I started with just some armor all in hopes that it would soften it up whatever it is but that stuff ugh. yeah here we go 
What are you doing? I'm just looking at what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to clean. That's what I'm doing. Stay clean and look nice. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I literally had to chip away at it with my knife. That is some gross stuff. But we're getting there. I'm going to show you how well this leather cleaner stuff works. This side, I just put the rag down so I only get it on half of it. But uh, I'm going to clean this side and come back to it. You can see this stuff. It's kind of hard to tell, but it is like very foggy. I don't know. It's got a weird layer of something on it or just the colors breaking down. But I'm going to try this on this side and see how well that works. So I'm going to come back to this after I work on some of the seats and other stuff. This part's not really part of your normal cleaning procedure, but whoa, careful. What I got here is some black leather dye, and what I wanna do is actually touch up little spots like this that have just been a little roughed up over the years. And so what I'm using is just a pipe cleaner and a little dab of it on there. A little dab goes a long, long way with this stuff. And I want to be careful not to get it on the stitching. I'm just going to put it on there, let it soak in for a second. And then take a rag here and wipe it off. Much, much better. I'll go back if I need to, if it's still showing any signs, and put a little more on there. But there's a few little spots kind of all around here that I want to get. So I'm going to knock that out. All right, now that I got the seats done, I'm going to come back and finish this top. You can see just the difference here it's kind of this weird white haziness you can kind of see it here like on the steering wheel out here as well I haven't really scrubbed a whole lot of the steering wheel yet but uh, yeah I don't know what it is whether it's uh, you know skin or just dirt or whatever but just put that stuff on quick wiped it on wiped it off and you can literally see that line running right along there where I wiped it off and this stuff's dry now you know it's like I said the gloss really goes away once it actually kind of soaks in but yeah not too shabby like I said get the seats all done already both sides we're about licked with this thing already wiped down all the dash that's kind of hard to film just because you're really all over the place but uh, yeah looking pretty good 
You have to go through and give it kind of a final vacuum. Got a lot of stuff and junk falling off the dash and whatnot. Probably should have done that last, but oh well. Anyway, like I said, wipe that down quick. A few little uh, odds and ends here and there. We're about done with this part. And finally, the crowning touch here. That way everybody knows I'm a true car guy. Yeah. Final task here was washing these nasty floor mats down. I wasn't going to put them back in this clean car. You can see all the dirt and just grime coming out of these things. I doubt they've ever been washed. It's all good to get them clean. They can go back in the nice clean car to boot. We also went ahead and washed the car and washed mom's floor mats while we were at it. You got to get closer. You're just blowing them away. going so much that Dylan's still out here cleaning mom's car, which, eh, it needed it. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I'm going to enjoy it, and uh, on to the next one. Let's see what we can find. Anyway, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.